Hi there. Thank you, Wes, for that uh, great introduction. I, uh, uh, Earl Hightower, um, who is uh, a very close friend of mine, introduced me to West uh, a while ago. And as a result, uh, it sort of has been uh, a very important part of uh, my, my life. I, uh, I get to see that, that piece, uh, the Bruce Springsteen song, that piece with before and after, that, uh, whoever made that, that's just amazing. Um, so I get to see before and after stories that are very moving to me. And then I also get to stay in some of the biggest hotels <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Uh, later on today, I'm, I'm going to New Jersey because uh, my favorite hockey team is in the Stanley Cup Finals. The Los Angeles Kings, my favorite hockey team. Go Kings, go Kings. Uh, and I just realized that if I just leave this ballroom, it, if I just turn right and just go to the end of the hotel, I'll be in New Jersey. There's also, I, I found out that there's also a river in this hotel that has a gondola that you can ride on. And, uh, West and I have decided to, uh, at 3 o'clock, just get our shirts off and get in the gondola together. <laughs> You're more than welcome to, uh, to meet us there. Um, okay, well, I love drug court. Um, Earl Hightower taught me a long time ago that uh, for addicts and alcoholics, there's six really key words. Uh, trust God, clean house, and help others. And and uh, I'm a pretty happy guy these days, and that has not always been the case because I never really understood the, uh, the help others part, the service part. I would dabble in service, but I, it was always sort of like I wanted to see, I wanted people to see me helping others or, or like it didn't count. So I would go to meetings and I would take a commitment like, a, like the, to sweep the floor at a gigantic meeting because I wanted like hot girls to see me sweeping the floor and think how great I am. And a lot of helping others, a lot of what has changed my life is helping others anonymously or trying to and, and, and just doing it for the, boy, that's an awful picture of me. <laughs> that's a guy who really needs to help others. Drug court is helping others on such a gigantic scale uh, that at first, before I really understood, I, was, I said to Earl, I said, well, wait a minute, I went to the drug court convention and we helped 100,000 people, so I don't have to do any other helping others for the whole year, right? And uh, anyway, helping to shine a bright light on drug court on Capitol Hill and here at the annual conference and around the country is an amazing, amazing and rewarding opportunity. Uh, I, get, I, get, I get so excited about this idea and we were, it, I was having lunch in, in Washington after we had, uh, I lobbied, I lobbied. <laughs> and uh, we had talked to the Senate and I was on this real high, I was feeling so excited and we had lunch and I remember I had lunch with Judge uh, Bob Rancourt. Are you still here dude or did you have to leave? I think he had to leave. I question his dedication. <laughs> so we were having lunch on Capitol Hill and I said to him, I said, listen, uh, this is so, I feel so good. I haven't felt this good in, in so long. This is so great in drug court and I think, I think I'm going to, I think I have to give up acting and do this all the time. 
I think I have to do this every day, and it just feels so good to be helping people. And Judge Rancourt said, no, 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 we need you on television. <laughs> there are people better suited to be doing this all the time <laughs> than, than you. So, uh, Judge, I, I followed your uh, advice, and now I have a new TV show, and... And my hope is that that show will be successful so that more people will listen to me when I talk about drug court. Uh, when I'm asked about drug court uh, and why I help out, the answer is very simple. It's a no-brainer. It saves lives. It, uh, it's, it's this gigantic group of people who uh, just want to save lives. Uh, together, you have uh, saved over a million addicted people from an unbearable life of broken spirits and incomprehensible demoralization. When I come to these events, I hear a lot of statistics that prove that drug courts work, that they save lives, but that all takes a back seat when, when I listen to the kids affected by drug court. In fact, how many of you were uh, here I uh, were with Martin Sheen and me at the conference in D.C. A lot of you guys were there, right? And wouldn't you agree that Nathaniel Vincent, you, you got pictures of him, right, somewhere? That guy was the real star of the conference, and he stood up in front of a huge crowd and simply said, thank you, drug court, for giving me back my mom. There he is. You see that picture? Yeah. yeah. Now, as an actor, during that moment, I thought to myself, well, now wait a minute, I wrote a really funny speech. I wrote a charming speech. And this kid gets up and he stole the whole show. <laughs> and uh, initially, I found it quite annoying. <laughs> but as a human being, uh, it probably was the best moment of my entire year, and uh, it's moments like that and many others that make me so proud that, uh, that I am your ambassador.